everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J. And today it is raining, it is pouring, and the old man is snoring. But I want to play in my makeup because I don't have anything else to do today. So I figured why not film a video and play with some of the products that I have picked up over the course of the past few months, but I really haven't had time to dig into. So these products are new-ish. They're not the newest developments on the market, but they are still relatively new. So I wanted to crack them open and play with a lot of them for the first time today in this video. So I have an array of things. I tried to spread out the brands just to see what's shaking over here, what's shaking over there. So let me jump into the products that we're going to be using and then I will walk you through how to do this look and we're gonna do a get ready with me. And you wanna know what I'm doing today after this? I'm going to the grocery store. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. <laughs> I know that sometimes y'all are like, Kelsey, where are you going with this makeup? I'm going to Kroger. That's what's on the itinerary. But I want to play and I want to look glam going to Kroger because I give a damn. So that was lame. Let me tell you all what I'm playing with. So first up on my hit list is an eyeshadow palette from Artist Couture. This one is called the Midnight Maven palette. This one retails for $29. And the details of this palette say that it is a bold, fierce, limited edition eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette made up of eight richly pigmented shades. So this is the box that it comes in. Here's the actual palette that it comes in. It doesn't say Midnight Maven on the front. It says Artist Couture, but it has the purple and blue and pinkish gradients. So that's kind of a hint of what it's going to look like on the inside. It does come with the mirror and then here are the eyeshadows. These eyeshadows are 0 0.04 ounces or one gram. And the colors are called Quickie, Rendezvous, After Hours, Lights Out, Frisky, Rubble, Nightcap and Vixen. Next up, I have the new Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm 2. This one is in the color Hollow at Me. This one retails for $38. I didn't know I paid that much for this. <laughs> this one says that this is a limited edition diamond dusted highlighter for face and body designed to veil all skin tones in pure show-stopping holographic pink sparkle. This is the second installment in the Diamond Bomb line and I'm excited about it because I really loved the one last year. But this is what it looks like. It has FB embossed in there. It says Fenty Beauty. But essentially this is a pressed highlighter of glitter. Next Next I have the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer and I have the color number eight. And here's what the actual concealer looks like. It looks like an eraser. So we're erasing those under eye dark circles. This concealer retails for $22. It has 0.17 ounces of product or five milliliters. The details of this say that it is a multi-purpose full coverage liquid concealer that hides it all from dark under eye circles to blemishes to discoloration. It says that the coverage is full, the finish is natural, the formulation is liquid, and this is suitable for normal dry combination and oily skin types. It also says that this has 24 hour long wear and it is waterproof. I got a YSL lipstick. This one is a collaboration between them and Zoe Kravis. And this lipstick retails for $38. I have the color 123 Morris's Nude. This is a matte finish, but it's YSL's matte finish. So it's not necessarily a drier matte finish. I would describe this more so as a satin finish, but they're saying it's matte. So this color is described as a warm brown nude with a matte finish named after Zoe's godmother. I have another Fenty Beauty product, so I'm happy that I'm finally doing this video so I can bust it out. I bought this when it first launched, which is probably like a month or maybe even two months ago at this point. So this one is called the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. This retails for $20. Let's see what color do I have. I have the color dark brown and the details of this say that this is an ultra fine retractable brow pencil that comes in a variety of different long wear waterproof smudge resistant shades with a built in paddle brush for easy blending and styling. Marc Jacobs makes one of my favorite pencil liners, the highliner. So when I saw that they were coming out with the liquid version, I ran to the Sephora app to place an order. So I bought two of them, but I'm only using one of them in the demonstration today. The one that I bought in the color blacker, which is the pencil that I use almost every single day. I actually bought another one, a gray one. This one is called Steal the Show. I will insert a swatch of this. 
There are seven different colors of these, but these are not the same finish. So blacker is the only one that is a high shine finish. And the other six colors in this line are a metallic finish. So they have a little bit of a glittery feel to them. So these retail for $27 each. And they say that these are a waterproof liquid gel eyeliner in signature black and eye catching metallic shades for extreme long wear shiny color. Next, I have a product from a brand called Prime Beauty and they were so sweet. They sent me over this as well as an eyeshadow palette, but I used this one in the demonstration today. This is called a bronzer. Is that not the cutest name you have ever heard? I thought so too. I have the one in the color Glow Coast. These retail for $21 and the description of these say that the Prime Beauty bronzers are the brown girl friendly bronzers we always knew we needed. There you go. These highly pigmented matte bronzers add an extra sun-kissed finish with buildable coverage. Next, I have a Zoeva foundation. The official name of this foundation is the Authentic with the K at the end. Skin Natural Luminous Foundation and I have the color 250N Happy. You all have no idea how happy I was to know that I wore the shade Happy. That made me so happy. I was like, oh. The details of this foundation are, are that it retails for $28 and it has the standard amount, one fluid ounce. And it says that the Zoeva Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation is enriched with the nourishing power of rose hip oil. It's buildable, silky smooth, all day long finish. The innovative lightweight formula is designed to maintain the skin's natural protective barrier while allowing natural luminosity to shine through positively beautiful authentically you there are 44 different shades of this foundation i purchased this from ulta and i did see a few other retailers that carry zoeva you all know i will have everywhere listed down in the description box that does so my peeps over at lcm sent me some brushes and i have the absolute bunch collection and these are all of their brushes this retails for 212 dollars they do have these for sale individually as well as in other bunches so you don't necessarily have to have all of them this is their blending brush this is the nori brush this one retails for $24 this one is a flatter blending brush this one is called the ziri brush and this one retails for $24 as well this brush is called the alva brush this one is a flat shader brush to pack on your eyeshadow this one retails for $22 next we have the Kian brush which is a multi-purposeful brush you can use this one for all over the face you can use it for bronzer you can use it for a little bit of blush but be careful because this is a larger powder brush this one retails for $44. Next we have the Clio pencil brush. This one retails for $20. The Jada stippling brush. You can use this one for all type of cream and liquid products. This one retails for $37. The Yori angled powder brush. This one retails for $40. Next we have the most interesting brush out of the group. The Passy brush. This one has a little bit of a tip here. So you can use this brush for both powders and creams. I would use this brush more so for creams though. So those are all of the LC brushes that they sent me they also sent over some lashes and I have on a pair now I will tell you guys which one I have on in the demonstration and lastly I use the refer p22 brush this one is a fluffy brush that I use to apply my bronzer so that's everything that I'm going to be trying out in this get ready with me like I said I've tried some of these products some of them is my first time trying them out in this video today but I'm very excited to just take a day and play with new makeup because I've had some of this stuff in packages for quite some time so I think that it is important to use the makeup that you buy so I hope that you all enjoy let me know what products you want to see me try and use and also if you like these type videos let me know and I can continue to do them and if you don't like them let me know too because then I don't have to continue to do them so just let me know so I'll check you guys shortly first I want to put on some foundation this is the Zoeva foundation I'm just gonna shake this up really well and I'm going to put some on my Petri dish, maybe like two pumps here. And I'm actually going to apply my foundation with a brush today. This is the brush in the style Jada by Elysium. So I'm just going to buff this on. Okay, so, so far I'm liking the color. I'm liking the coverage. And I'm liking the way that this brush is applying this. It's giving me all of the coverage, okay? All of it. I have been so into using brushes for my foundation lately. I can't wait to put on concealer because, honey, 
she looks a little dead today <laughs> so i need a little bit more under there so i'm just pressing this foundation in it looks really good it's giving a nice amount of coverage i like the finish of it it's like a dewier foundation but yet it's not too oily feeling it feels very lightweight on the skin so i am impressed right now i feel like all over my face looks perfected and my under eyes just look dark as hell but we're gonna fix that let's go in with our fenty brow this is my first time using this even though i've had it for a minute now all right so now i'm gonna go in with the pencil so let's see how am i gonna like this so it's a thinner pencil. For whatever reason, I thought it was like the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is going on nicely. It is just a little bit drier than say the Benefit Brow Pencil. But I think the consistency of this so far is pretty similar to the Anastasia Brow is and how dry it is. So I have them filled in. So now let me brush them out to disperse the products so it doesn't look harsh. But so far, I like the way that they look. They look very natural. This color is a good match. It's neutral, so it's not warm, and it's not cool. So it's matching my brow hairs pretty well. So I'm liking it. Now I'm going to go into the Benefit Concealer that I have and take just a little bit of this and clean up around my brows with it. So I have a flat shader brush. This is a brush from Ruffer. And I'm just going to go in with this right underneath my brows just to add some shape. And then blend this down. I actually am going to go in with the Passy brush. The one with the little tip. And blend this out with this brush. And make sure that this product is good and diffused. So I'm just going to tap this and tap this on the lid. I'm going to put a little bit more. And I want to use this as my eyeshadow base. Again, going in with the Passy brush just to blend this out evenly all across the lid. And then I'll take some around too and sort of begin to conceal my lower lash line. But not really. Just whatever's left over because I did put a pretty big dot. And I didn't really mean to put that much. But, you know, no product is going to go to waste. Just blend that out. So I'm going to dip into the Midnight Maven palette from Artist Couture and I've been itching to use this but now's the perfect opportunity. I want to go into this color first using a blending brush. This is the Sonya G Crease 2 brush and this is the color Frisky. I want this in my crease. So I'm just going to carefully apply this color back and forth and then diffuse it up. And this will help me build a crease color as well as create a transition shade. So everything is just going to give an effortless blend. Next, I'm going to take the same brush in the color Nightcap. I want this color on my very outer corner. So I'm just going to pack it on until it is fully opaque and bring it up to the crease. This purple is very smooth, which is hard to do because this type purple typically is a little bit drier and so it takes a little longer to pack it on build up that color and get that intensity but i think that i got it so when i was blending it out it did get a little bit patchy but it still is building up so i'm not mad at it it's better than most matte purples are that are this tone so with the same flat shader brush that i took for my concealer that i wiped off i'm going to pick up the shade quickie i want this color on my lid and i am going to take small packing motions and apply this color all over the lid and make sure that it's blended up to connect to the crease color and then I'm going to make sure that it's blended next to the outer corner purple color. So I'm just going to tap on this line, make sure that there are no lines of demarcation. Okay? But this is how I want it to look. Same brush, and I'm going to dip into lights out. Carefully, I'm going to pop that just slightly on the inner corner. 
So just one little boop, boop, boop. That's it. I don't want to try to blend it over and muddy up the look or anything like that. I just want it to be a little hint of the purple. Now I want to go in with some concealer. So I'm going to take the same Benefit Boing Concealer. Yes, brighten me up. I love concealer so much. It's my favorite part of makeup. It just transforms the look. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my lip too. I had on some of my Chanel lip balm just to get my lips prepped because it's that time of year that my lips just get so dry. So it's important to do that before I put on any type of lip product, you know, so my lips don't look crusty. That's not cute. So I'm going to go in with this dose of color sponge and just blend this out. Yes, gosh, because I feel like I look extra sleepy today. I'm going to go in with just a little bit more right here. If I didn't feel that way, this will be more than enough. But since I feel like my under eye bags are just super dark, I need a little bit more reinforcement. So I'm just going to tap that in, give a little bit more coverage. So I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is a tried and true powder for me. Whenever I'm trying new complexion products, I don't want to try everything new. So I'm going to stick with an old faithful powder. Looking nice. I'm gonna go into my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and another Elysium brush. This one is a Yori brush. Now let's go into my eyeliner. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Liquid Eyeliner in Black Core. You know you have to be very careful with the liquid eyeliner. So let me see. So formulation is pretty nice, but this brush just kinda hurts. For my sensitive eyes, I don't know about this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. I got this one on lock, and I'll be right back. So I got that eyeliner on. Now I need to put on some mascara. This is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. So just a little bit to coat my lashes because I'm about to put on some falsies. And my lashes are this light brown color, and they don't blend with lashes unless I put on mascara. So boom. Now I'm going to put on the Elsium Starling Lashes, which are lashes with purple tints at the end. Okay, so I have them on. They give a nice little extra purple pop. So now back to the eyes. So I'm going to go back with After Hours with the pencil brush. This is an Elsium Cleo brush, and I'm going to pop that right down here. That's not the same color. I actually used lights out on the top and then I just put after hours on the bottom. Different colors. Oh well, we're rolling with it. And on the rest of the Laura Lash line, I'm going to take Rendezvous, which so happens to be one of my absolute favorite words. So I'm going to concentrate and blend this color over using that same pencil brush. And then once I have the base blended out, I'm going to go back in and pack it on to make it more intense. Taking my time and building this up just because this does have glitter and I do not want this to get everywhere and make my eyes be irritated. Now I need some color on my face because my eyes are doing a lot and my face is like blah. I'm going to first go in with bronzer. This is by Prime Beauty and this is called a bronzer. I have my Refer P22 brush so I'm going to take this as my bronzer. I'm just going to lightly tap into this first. Yeah, this is very intense, giving me a nice warm bronze. Pretty. I did go down a little bit further, but I am going to just take some translucent powder and sculpt it back out just a little bit. This, again, is the Laura Mercier. While I'm waiting on that to do its thing, I just wanted to sort of sit for a second just to clean it up. Let me go in with some brow gel. This one is the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel in the color Dutch. So for a highlight, I'm going in with Fenty Beauty's Diamond Balm 2. So I have a Royal and Lane Nickel BOM 265 brush. This is a synthetic brush. And I think that this brush is going to pick up this product really nicely and pop it on my cheeks. Okay, so this is a glitter-based product, but the glitter is so finely milled that it's like diamond dust. This one looks like it has like a pinky purple tone to it, and last year's was more silvery. So I'm just layering this on, 
and really just building it up to get that really pretty reflective quality. This one is more so like a traditional powder and the texture and the one from last year feels like a hybrid between a cream and a powder so this one doesn't have that same slip although I do really like that color this one actually is going on a lot better with fingers careful not to mix in too high because I don't want to get this glitter trapped in this brush and then spread that all over my face I want to keep that in a very specific area so I don't have a new 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 blush but I have a new blush this one is the hourglass blush quad from the ghost collection this year so I want to go into a mix of these two back with the Yori brush just pop that on the cheeks just for a little bit of color I'm going again with brilliant nude and infinite flush together on the cheeks I'm kind of stamping that in. Lastly, my lip. I don't think I want to put on a lip liner right now. I'm going to put this on and see if I want a lip liner after I apply it. I like this color. YSL lipsticks are very, very nice. It has a nice slip. And it smells like a perfume. It does not smell like vanilla or anything edible. I like the way that they smell. So here is the finished look. And I love the way that this look turned out. I think that everything is working together beautifully. I especially love my foundation, which is always up in air whether or not I'm going to love a foundation because... We just don't know how it's going to go once you have it on the skin. We don't know how it's going to play. I tried out a new concealer. I think that this looks lovely on the face as well. My eyeshadow, love it. It was very smooth, easy to blend out. You all know I love purple. These are the purple tones that I love. It has a bit of a pinkiness to it too. I could have done without the pink, but it's nice to have one if I need it. I think that this is formulated very well. I love the mattes and I love the shimmers, but I love the mattes even more than I love the shimmers, but both of them are bomb. Artist Couture did a great job. This lipstick is really pretty, very well formulated. YSL makes some of my favorite lipsticks, so it's no surprise that I love this lipstick. I was kind of expecting a different color and I don't know why. I guess because when I was looking at it, I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more brown, but it's definitely a rosy brown color. If I weren't doing this type video, I think I probably would have switched it out simply because of the color and I don't really pair this type color with this type eye, but we're doing something different and I like it. I'm not in love with the brush of the eyeliner. I feel like it was just so hard and it almost was like stabbing me. I don't know if it's going to wear down as I continue to use it but I have very sensitive eyes so anything that's too sharp or doesn't really have enough give will make my eyes water like what it did the formulation of the eyeliner is nice if you like a shiny eyeliner it's not matte it does not dry down matte I don't mind that I like to have options for if I want to have a matte eyeliner or a shiny eyeliner or a satin eyeliner this one will be a shiny eyeliner option because it's slick and it's black and the formulation didn't give me any trouble whatsoever it was just the application that brush I needed to have a little bit more give so it can flow a little easier with the curvature of my eye shape the Fenty Beauty Diamonds Balm 2 I'm sort of up in air with it so I like the way that it looks on the face but it's just not formulated like the original one so here's Diamond Balm 2 Diamond Balm 1 Diamond Balm 1 is shinier in the compact so you can kind of tell that it's not the same formulation. Diamond Balm 2 is a lot drier in the way that it feels and the way that it applies and the glitter particles in here are a lot chunkier. Both of these products are very finely milled glitter particles but Diamond Balm 1 is so much more finely milled and it's so much more soft to play with. It's like when you're touching it it feels like a cream to powder products and then Diamond Diamond Balm 2 just feels like a powder product. Diamond Balm 2 has more of a color shift than Diamond Balm 1. So it has a little bit of a reddish peachy golden base to it and then we see the glitter on top of it. But I just don't love it as much as I love the first one. I really like the Elsium face brushes. These brushes are very well made. They're soft, but they still pick up products. They blend out really nicely, and I love these. The eye brushes are not bad, but they are just a little bit stiffer. And for me, I have sensitive eyes. So anything that is going to cause 
any type of irritation I have to be very very careful when using it everybody's eye area is delicate but mine is like super delicate mine is like a newborn baby whereas other people's eye area is like maybe like a four month old the Fenty brow I like this brow I'm not in love with the brush I do prefer a spoolie but the actual brow pencil applied really nicely I love the color I love how thin it is and it didn't take me a long time at all to fill in my brow hairs I feel like it was a great match very easy to use as per usual refer did an amazing job with this brush I love the way that it applied my bronzer and I adore this bronzer this bronzer took my look to the next level it's beautiful and I love the fact that they are called bronzers that is the cutest name I definitely am gonna add this into my regular rotation of bronzers this one is a little bit more warm toned and I really like that for dramatic looks because it gives me a little bit of a sexy element to the face whereas some of my other bronzers are a little bit more natural and for daytime looks so when I want to be a little bit more feisty with my makeup this is my bronzer that I'm going for it's formulated very well super smooth it did not skip a beat on the cheek so I'm happy with that so that is everything that I tried and that is my initial impression of everything. I am going to keep wearing this makeup around for the rest of the day, mainly to further test out the foundation and the concealer because I want to see how they continue to wear. So I will check in in a few more hours to give you guys an update and let you guys see how everything is going. But for now, I'm feeling like a baddie. I am going to take some pictures and I'm taking off this shirt because I do have to go to the grocery store. So I don't want to be fully, fully, fully glam going to the grocery store and it's raining and it's cold. When I come back, I will have on a different shirt, but this is what you're getting for now. So stay tuned. So I'm back and I have had on these products for almost 13 hours. I did not mean to keep these products on this long. I just had a really long day. It's actually almost 4 o'clock in the morning. If not, yeah, it's 3.51 in the morning right now. I'm a little delusional. I'm very, very sleepy. But I just want to wrap it up. So foundation and concealer both have held up very well over the duration of how long I've had them on. I think that they both look very smooth. Yes, my natural oils have broken through. That is normal and I expect that. It is cold outside so I don't have to worry about the humidity anymore but you still do have to worry about the normal wear and tear of complexion products and still this held up and it looks so nice i love the way that my foundation looks it did not oxidize it does not look overly oily it is more so of a luminous foundation but it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel thick or heavy or disgusting i think that it looks nice and it feels nice and i'm overall very impressed with it as far as the benefit concealer i like this concealer as well it stayed put all day i have very minimal creasing underneath my eyes i've teared up a few times over here and it's still there so i'm feeling it i definitely will be using these products again i like them in combination with one another and i want to see how these products interact with other products that i use but so far so good i'm really really liking it the rest of my makeup looks nice as well brows eyeshadow my lips are gone but of course it's been 13 hours and i didn't reapply it other than that everything else looks good the highlighter still is popping so yeah i'm about to go to sleep i am so sleepy that i could Go see right here, right now. Good night. Smooches. I will talk to you all in my very next video, which will be very, very soon. Smooches. I already said smooches. <laughs> okay, smooches for real. Bye.